What is good, my journeys? What is good, my journeys? Listen, you see how I'm smiling? Some of you guys haven't smiled in a long time. Some of you guys haven't had a good laugh, a good hug, or even a good conversation in a long time. And that is why depression is at its all-time high right now. Because many of us don't feel safe. We don't feel seen. We don't feel loved. And I remember feeling like that, even being in this high position. I didn't feel seen. I didn't feel heard. And it hurt me. Because you can give so much into the world, and you turn around and Nobody's giving to you. No one's checking in on you. Like I said, you haven't laughed in a long time. You haven't smiled in a long time. Maybe it's work stressing you out. Maybe it's the bills. Maybe you feel lonely. That's one thing I struggle with is loneliness. And it's not like people don't want to be around me, but I want to be around genuine people that know me and understand me. But that's rare in today's world, right? But if you're going through depression right now, I'm not going to tell you that your depression or what you're feeling is an illusion, but simply give you some motivation to get out of that spot and to like keep living. Because I go through depression all the time, but I've learned even the word depression means deep rest. Most of the time we're drained, we're confused, we're lost. But the main thing we need is someone that's going to bring us out of that depression. And it doesn't have to be family. It can be someone you don't know. We just need to vent and we need to feel that support. You know, it's a lot of people out here. People have passed away in their family and have never been the same. That spark that they had, that, that bubbly energy that they had before that person passed is no longer there. So they still trying to figure they self out. So they in this deep depression. And I know that person just needs a hug. That person just needs to know that, hey, you okay. I got you. That word right there, I got you, does wonders for me, man. And I mean, when I actually feel like that person has me, it does wonders. Feeling a real, genuine, warm hug, that does wonders for me, too. And that's what we need right now. We need some love. We need some understanding. And that is why I shot my video recently. And I'm going to keep talking about it because this is a new journey for me. And I'm open to finding my soul tribe because I've been depressed. Honestly. Because I haven't felt like people fully got to know Jacob. You know, when you in the spotlight, people think they know you, but you only show them what you want to show them. Now it's like, okay, I want to show y'all another side of me y'all never met. Once again, like I said, many of us haven't smiled and laughed in a long time because we don't feel safe to. We haven't seen anything that's worth laughing at because our life seems so dark. And I'm tired of being in this dark space. So I said enough is enough. I'm about to let go. And I'm about to show the world who I am. And those who judge me, judge me. Those who love me, love me. But at the end of the day, I must love myself. You feel me? So to anybody watching this video, please find something that's going to keep you pushing. Find something that's going to help you get out of your darkness. And honestly, my page, my channel... My journey, it helps me. Even though, yes, sometimes it's stressful. It's annoying at times. But I remember this was a safe place for me to come, to vent, to let let what I was feeling out. And I feel like when I gained an audience, that was kind of stripped away from me. And not to blame you guys. You guys are wonderful. I love you. I respect you on so many levels. But when you're in my position, you will understand. It's just like doing music. You love music, but now you got this audience and you're going you gonna to have some people in the comments saying, nah, this song trash. You feel me? When the whole time, you might feel like this is your hardest song. So you got to fall in love with what you do. And you can't even listen to the compliments because even that will be a distraction. Because you'll be looking for that validation. 
But depression is a real thing, bro. It's a lot of people out here that are depressed. It's a lot of people out here that don't want to be here. Even suicidal rates are going up at this time, bro. Like, I'm going to break it down to you, man. It's so many people that want to be independent. They don't want to live with their parents. They don't want to have to live with their aunties, their uncles, because they stressing them out. They don't believe in them. But stuff is so expensive. And it's, it's so sad. And I hate to say this, but they have to almost settle. They have to almost stay with them because they can't even step out here and, and gain that freedom and get away from the people that's talking about them. My heart goes out to you, dog. My heart goes out to you, queen. You're going to be free one day. We just got to get back out here and fight. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting back out here. And I'm about to fight, man. And I don't mean rage and hell, but I mean I'm fighting for what's right. I'm fighting for you. And I hope you fight for me. It's too much chaos going on in this world for us to act like we blind, man. It's too much going on. It's sad that a kid that's 10 years old, 9 years old, 8 years old is thinking about suicidal thoughts, man. It's not It's not normal. It's not normal for a kid to be 15 and killed in the streets. It's not normal, man. So I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, bro, Jacob, you in a position where you could talk about this stuff. Whether people want to hear it or not, you got to talk about it. Depression, people don't talk about it. But it's a real thing. It's not an illusion. Many people are fighting many battles within themselves or around them. You know, some people don't even feel comfortable in their own body. You know, in their own mind. And that's not a it's not a good thing. You came here to feel free. You came here to be yourself, and you can't even be yourself, man. It's sad when you want to post something on social media and people nitpicking at it and talking about you and changing it just shot a video about how people are making fun of people that pass away or that's expressing what they feel on social media they be mocking them and making memes that ain't cool bruh people will realize harm themselves because of you because you want a like because you want a view because you want some attention so for you to get some attention you want to bring the next person down Something's wrong with that, bruh. A lot of y'all can't get it on your own, so you want to do what everybody else do to fit in. I don't get it. Never will I ever try to get it. I don't respect nobody that puts another person down to feel more advanced or more important. Something's wrong with that, bruh. But that is how the world operates, and that is why depression is at its all-time high. Because people on social media, man, we feel left out. You know, what's crazy is we be on our phone scrolling and scrolling, comparing our life to another person. We seeing them taking these trips and all this stuff, and we feel like, dang, bro, I ain't living. When really, you're more happier than them because they only showing you what they want to show you. Now, I'm not saying get comfortable where you at. Because you have to change. You have to evolve. That is the whole mission on why we're here. And that's why a lot of people feel stuck and lost because they're not evolving. I made this joke, but it's really not a joke. You know, it's just like one of the things I say. It's like you can't do the same thing and expect different results. You got to do something different to experience something different. You have to date people that are different to receive something different. You can't date this person that's toxic and all about them and expect them to have that peaceful and flowing love. It just don't work like that. You got to kind of date some people, not saying that you wouldn't date, but you got to date some people that's different, that's on your energy. You feel me? With this with this success stuff, you can't do what everybody else is doing and expecting different results. You got to do something different. I'm doing something different. I'm in my own lane. I'm not comparing myself to nobody. Nor will I ever will. Because being yourself is a gift. Being you is beautiful, man. It's attractive. I want you to know that. Queen, when you are being yourself, when you dress the way you want to dress, when you talk the way you want to talk, it is attractive. For my kings out there, it is also attractive for you to be yourself, you being confident within yourself, you chasing your dreams. 
you dressing the way you want to dress, you talking the way you want to talk, you holding yourself up high, that's attractive to a lot of women out here. I want you to know that. You having things going for yourself is amazing. And maybe right now you have given up on yourself. And that's why I'm talking about depression today. But I'm just taking it into another form. Because what I'm talking about creates depression. Not feeling loved, not feeling seen, not feeling heard. It creates that, bro. It creates depression. And people don't understand it. It's crazy because, you know, people judge people that are depressed, but you have never been in that person's shoes. You have never experienced what that person have seen. You have never felt what that person have felt. So I never judge a person that's depressed because, bruh, I've been like that my whole life. But I understand you can change depression. You can find ways to cope with it. Like I said, some of you guys have probably had some deaths in your family, man. I don't like saying deaths, but you've had some people that, in, you know, passed on, that in transition, that feel a little better. <laughs> but you probably have, man, and you ain't been the same. You ain't been the same, bro. And I haven't seen nobody shoot videos like this on YouTube, so I might shoot a video especially made for that, man, um, how to deal with people that have passed on, you know, and try to put like a deeper spiritual point of view of it because even people that have passed on has never really truly left us and you can talk to them whenever you're ready because they with us they walking with us man and um one thing you don't want to do is think that they gone even though yeah you can't laugh with them you can't hear their voice again but you can find ways to feel them you can find ways to see signs that they're still here because they still are this is a spiritual plane. I don't know. Maybe you guys need to hear that because I've been talking about people passing on a lot um, recently. But y'all be mindful, man. Check in on a friend. Check in on their mental. See how they feeling. See what they thinking. You know. But I love you guys so much. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Like I always say, man. Peace.